Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I got a very quick one for you today, but uh, when I saw this thing on the repository, it instantly sent me back to like 2007, man. If you don't recognize this vehicle right here, this is the Burnside and it comes from Rigs of Rods. Now, if you have no idea what that is, what is Rigs of Rods? It's a weird name. Well, think of it as the predecessor to Beam NG Drive itself. It was a game that pretty much simulated any kind of vehicle uh, you want. And it had soft body physics all the way back in like 2005. And uh, this was one of the hallmark cars uh, of that game, which has been resurrected, it seems, uh, in BMG Drive. So yeah, if it looks like it has like PS2 level graphics, that's because it's literally from like 2005. But it's basically the first game I ever saw that had like soft body car crash damage. And uh, if you see some video of it from now, it might look a little dated, but basically it was the framework uh, for BMG Drive. A lot of the same devs uh, as well went on to make BMG Drive. So this thing is a historical piece. It deserves to be in a museum, man, and it still drives pretty darn good. Uh, I gotta say, <laughs> look at it, good 100 miles an hour, man. Uh, but yeah, this mod actually has all the configs as well. There's some kooky ones in there. Don't worry, we're gonna check him out, but let's just take a nice little Sunday cruise. Well, I guess it's Friday when you guys are watching this, but you get the picture, but here we go. Look at this go, man. Here's the interior as well. Not much to see. It's very, oh, oh whoops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Anyway, it's uh, pretty bare bones, uh, but it is detailed. There's, hold on, look at this. Why are we going backwards, man? I don't know. But yeah, since we're on the highway, we might as well get something that uh, goes very, very fast. But yeah, here's all the variants you get. You get a wagon, of course, the classic convertible. We get the dog version as well. Drag, uh, of course, drift version. There's even a drift version of this freaking boat. We got the limo, drift limo, <laughs> the off-road one, off-road coupe. Ooh, nice. Of course, the police car and the street tuned. Let's see what the street tuned one can do, man. I feel like this one's probably going to go oh pretty quick we are spinning a, a lot of tires there there we go can we hit 200 before we uh hit something explode into a million pieces and die instantly i'm guessing probably not but we're gonna go for it man 140 miles an hour beautiful yeah get out of the way man 150 <laughs> what sick oh wow we might actually hit 200 165 can we get a 170 there we go can i get 180 we're running out of road here very quickly uh-oh 178 come on we're almost there no oh <laughs> that poor k series oh no oh yeah so the crash model again looks very old i'm not gonna say it looks bad because it doesn't this is the blueprint literally uh, but it is dated. Hey, would you guys like to see me try Rigs of Rods? I've played it in the past on the channel, but would you guys like uh, like to see Rigs of Rods in 2023? I think it'd be kind of fitting, especially since uh, we're basically at BMG's gs 10th birthday. It's a decade old now at this point, which is uh, absolutely insane. I've been making videos for like six of those 10 years. Crazy how time flies. Anyway, what do you say we hit the drag strip, baby? Let's see what that drag version can do. I think this one will hit 200 miles an hour. What do you guys think? All right, where are you? There you are. We even got some NOS for this thing, man. Yes, sir. Oh, I can already tell this thing's gonna rip it. Okay, here we go. This is gonna rip. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Yes. Oh my God. Beautiful. 170, 180, come on. We got to hit 200. There it is. We are not stopping, boys. We're going to sit ourselves over this mountain. <laughs> what a launch. Oh, this thing's a tough SOB, isn't it, man? It's holding together pretty darn well, all things considered. We are missing some bits here and there, but uh, for the most part, we're in pretty good shape, I would say. All right, so next let's hit the uh, the dirt track because there is a few different dirt versions. I want to see how they handle. Again, this thing is a big old sedan. Uh, so let's see how it fares on the dirt track here. I guess this would be the best one. Actually, no, I want the coupe. Actually, you know what? Let's go with this one. Why not? 
Apparently, I'm very indecisive today. I don't know why. Oh, look at this thing, man. Beautiful. I think they have added a few modern BMG parts, but I think it really brings the whole vehicle together. You know, let's see what this thing can do. This is like the El Camino version. Oh, this thing is quick, man. This is beautiful. This is a actually handles pretty darn well. Look at us fly through this track. It actually has a lot of grip, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting to just slide all over the place. But no sorry. Let's see how it handles a jump. Oh, I might have I might have <laughs> laid a little too heavy on the gas there. Oh, but it's fine. Very, very rigid uh vehicle, all things considered. Oh, it's holding up, man. We got one big jump though. We got a big jump coming up. I think I think the front uh, suspension may have collapsed a little bit, uh, but I think we're OK. All right. Here's the big jump. You got to be going at least 40. We're going to do it at 65. Perfection. And what a lap. What a lap indeed. I love this thing just as much as the first day I set eyes on this. I think the first time I played Rigs of Rods was on like a, a very, very terrible Dell netbook. And it probably ran at like five frames per second, but hey, I still played it, man. You got to start somewhere, right? And look at us now, man. Beautiful. Oh, man. Okay, I'm probably going to regret this, but let's try uh, one of the drift versions. I'm notoriously terrible at uh, drifting, although UK Drifter did say he would teach me soon. So keep out, keep on the lookout for that. But for now, I'm still pretty bad. Uh, but let's give it a shot anyway, shall we? All right, let's get it. So far, so good. Maybe this is going to be one of the easy ones. There is some easier cars to drift than others. This one so far feels pretty good. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I curbed it. Oh, no. That's not good. It still drives, though. Never mind. <laughs> what a freaking disaster, man. Here we go. I can do this really good. I don't know what this is, but I could do it good. Let's try the tunnel. Maybe we'll be better here. Oh, that back axle just does not like to stay in place, does it? <laughs> and this is about the extent of my drifting abilities, everybody. Not good at all. So after that horrible embarrassment, what do you say we take the bird sides to the car jump arena and bring it into the 21st century? I mean, it was already born in the 21st. And we'll bring it into 2023. We'll say that. All right. What do you say we try? Hmm. I kind of want to try the limousine. How far do you think this thing's going <laughs> to fly? Probably not very far, but uh, I just like, I like me a good limo. So let's see. Let's see how she flies, man. Beautiful. Look at that JPEG, baby. <laughs> Does that end scream? 2005 i don't know what does anyway almost 100 140 miles an hour there we go there we go past the 200 past the 250 around 260 very very good especially for a vehicle such as this and we're gonna go head first kind of in the pool all the backs in the pool <laughs> we're in the pool kind of that's all that matters man beautiful all right should we do it should we take the drag version? Hold on. I want to try the donk first, just because they're so ridiculous and so ugly. I can't help but be enamored, you know? So let's see what this bad boy can do. This one's actually not as bad as some other ones I've seen. These are somewhat normal sized tires. <laughs> Still uh, atrocious, but uh, let's see what it could do. It's actually, a, it's a little, it's a, maybe a little faster than the limo. I think we're going to go much farther though. Yes, we are 300 and 40 and it's mostly in one piece left tire not looking too good we're gonna miss the pool oh no nice grind though <laughs> the engine's still intact you can buff out those scratches get it back on the road maybe throw out the tires though maybe we give it a nice paint job too i don't know all right all right we'll take the drag version down this one's obviously gonna go past the 500 mark because this thing is insanely quick. If we can keep it in a straight line, that's the hard part. There we go. 231 miles an hour. My goodness. 
What a launch. We might actually make it to the sand. It's going to be close. I think we got it, though. Yes, we do. <laughs> wow. It disintegrates on impact. Beautiful. By far the oldest car in Beam and G Drive. I mean, technically, it's from two, it's from before Beam and G came out, I guess. I guess depending on how you, you see things. So that's insane that it made it into the sand. Let's get it into the water. But yeah, the bird sides, man. An absolute blast from the Beam and G past. Uh, but yeah, if you guys would like to see me check out rigs and rods, if it still works on modern computers, I'm not quite sure it does, but we can make something work. I'm sure. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that down below in the comments. And while you're down there, hit that join button, baby. Uh, we got a private Beam and P server and a private Discord role uh, awaiting you if you do join. Uh, thank you to all my members who have joined us so far. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.